All right, we're still on Chapter 4, Lesson 8. Now we're on to page 174. And this is just another way, and this is using rectangular models to record the partial quotients, which is very similar to what we did with multiplication. Uh, Jared and Anna also found the number of teams using partial quotients. They recorded the partial quotients using rectangular models. They each still had 25 as the quotient. So Jared started this way. He said, uh, I need five. Remember when we were um, using our rectangular models, his is five high. And then he counted till he got to 125. And then he broke it up. He said 10 times five, there's my 50 and subtracted 50 to get 75 left. So this is the part he's used so far. To solve, this is the part of the product or the quotient that, excuse me, part of the quotient that he's used so far. He still has this 75 left. So then he does another uh, 10, which gives him another 50 to subtract. And so that's part that now he's used all of this for his quotient. So he's used 10 plus 10 would be. 20, that's supposed to be a plus. 10 plus 10 would be 25s, but he still has this part of the of the quotient that he hasn't used, and he realized that's five more columns of five or five more groups of five, which is 25. He gets zero. Then he goes and adds these numbers like we did before. Before we added the interior numbers. Now for division, we actually add these numbers across the top. These numbers tell us how many groups of five there were. Ten groups of five plus another ten groups of five plus five groups of five. That's 25 groups of five. So our quotient is still 25 for Jared. Okay, Anna did it a little bit differently, but she still got the same answer. So, And like we talked about, people think in different ways. And uh, any strategy that's going to get you the correct answer is going to be a good strategy as long as you are getting the correct answer with that strategy. So let's see what Anna did. Anna had the five for her, how many in each column? Five, just like we did before. So if she was using graph paper, there'd be five little boxes. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and then there would be a total of 125 boxes in this rectangle. And she said, hey, I know 20 times 5 is 100, so that's 20 fives, 20 columns with 5 in each column. And so I can jump right ahead and take away 100 really quickly. And then she's left, so she's used this part of the quotient so far, the 100 part. And she said 5 times 20 is 100. And then she got the last uh, 25 of the quotient, she said, okay, I need five, uh, five in each column, and I need five more columns. Five times five is 25, and she's still at zero, and again, we add the numbers across the top to see how many fives total she used. 20 of the fives here, and five fives here for a quotient of 25. So see, they both got the same answer. Anna just jumped a little further ahead. She said, hey, I know 20 times 5, because I know 20 is the same thing as two tens. 2 times 5 is 10. Add my 1 zero, that's 100. So I know if I'm dividing uh, 125 by 5, I can jump all the way up here and cut out a step. Now, that's perfectly OK. Either way is fine to do, OK? Thank you again for watching.